There are eight steps in community-based participatory research with examples taken from a CBPR case study. Step one, defining the community. Community can be defined by geography, condition, or other common concerns. For example, in the case study by Chang et al, they defined their community with a common concern for workers' rights among urban immigrants. To work with this community, they considered groups that might represent this population, such as Chinatown restaurant workers in San Francisco. Also, they consider organizations that serve this community. Step two, engaging the community and assessing the needs. This involves examining the available data on the target community and a needs assessment, which is a critical step in the development of CBPR. Take note that it is important to educate yourself about the community before engaging its members. Going back to our article example, aside from immigrant restaurant workers, Chang et al. also contacted and established a rapport with community-based organizations and universities, which helped them gain an in-depth understanding of the community, its resources, and the issue of immigrant workers' wage theft. Step three, refine the research question. Here, the community members are involved in helping identify and refine the research question. At this point of the CBPR process, the investigator educates and provides an insight as to what is already known about a subject while community members provide the perspective on the topic of interest. In the CBPR case study, worker concerns were a primary focus, key among them wage theft, including payment of the low minimum wage, denial or delay of back wages, theft of tip money, lack of paid sick leave, and other wage violations. Step four, design and methods. After agreeing on a research question, the investigator and community members determine the appropriate research strategy. The investigator has more knowledge on the different methods for investigation, but community partners know which methods are more feasible. In this case study, the community-based survey assessed workers' perceptions of working conditions and experiences with occupational injuries and under other health conditions. The survey instrument was designed to be culturally relevant by making sure the questions were the ideal ones for the population they were addressing. By improving the design and implementation of interventions, it increases the likelihood of the survey success. Step five establishes the role and responsibilities of all individuals involved in CBPR. A memorandum of agreement can be created, which outlines the roles and responsibilities of all parties and is a contract to ensure that objectives of the study are met. In the CBPR case study, various organizations, universities, and government agencies led the study efforts, which also included community representatives as partners. This study summarizes the breakdown of role and responsibilities. For example, community representatives from the Chinese Progressive Association of San Francisco had a role in recruitment and had the responsibility to keep participants in the study engaged. Step six highlights the progress in conducting research after staff have been trained in their roles. Now it is time to execute the study. Progress is monitored through frequent meetings to manage any unexpected challenges and to guarantee the study is carried out according to protocol. In the CBPR case study, all project partners had weekly meetings that included representatives from each partner organization to assess progress in meeting the objectives of the study. Step seven of CBPR is analysis and interpretation. This step depends on the availability of expertise, time, and interest of community members. If they're interested in learning more about the research process, experts in the field will need to train community partners in data analysis. For example, in the CBPR case study with immigrant restaurant workers, nine partners in the study were provided extensive training and research methods and therefore able to enhance the interpretation of data gathered due to their unique cultural understanding of the target population. Step seven also includes discussing data ownership, including a clear conversation between community partners and researchers on how data is stored and used. The last step of community-based participatory research is dissemination. Once a study is complete, findings can be shared by researchers and community members. Before dissemination occurs, there should be open and honest communication about the process. If there are two dissemination plans, it can allow for more enriching results and research partners can immediately start sharing study findings with the public to ensure better health outcomes. In the CBPR case study with restaurant workers, partners began to share the study's results through educational and training events. According to the article, these events made a profound impact on community practices and policies long before journal articles appeared in print. This concludes the eight steps of the CBPR process. 
If you want to reference any of the material discussed, you can find them here. Thank you for listening.